Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter, and this is your weekly update in ophthalmology and eye care, coming straight from Raleigh, North Carolina. In this episode, I would like to explain PTK, or phototherapeutic keratectomy, which is a laser procedure that can improve patients' vision if they have a problem with their cornea. Remember, the cornea is the clear shield that covers over the front of the eye. And to better understand this procedure, first we need to know how the laser works, since we use the same laser that we perform LASIK with to perform PTK. Every impulse that comes out of the laser removes a set amount of tissue from the cornea when it impacts the cornea. Because of this, in people that are nearsighted, when the laser strikes their cornea, it flattens the cornea a little bit in order to change the curvature and include the power from their glasses onto their eye. Because of this, we can use the same laser to remove front layers of the cornea in a predetermined manner to figure out exactly how much tissue that we would like to remove in order to make it more clear. PRK is a laser procedure similar to LASIK that doesn't involve creating a flap and instead removes the cells from the surface of the cornea, the thin layer called the epithelium, that's like our skin that covers the surface, and then uses the laser to change the shape of the remaining cornea. PTK is similar because we do the same thing and remove the epithelium or the surface cells from the cornea and then place the laser onto the remaining cornea. This is primarily used for three different problems on the cornea. One can be recurrent corneal erosion syndrome, the next corneal scars, or third an irregular cornea. Last episode we covered recurrent corneal erosion syndrome where people can get breakdown of the surface of the epithelium on the cornea after they have a corneal abrasion and have recurrent pain and redness of the eye. PTK can solve this by removing a few layers from the surface of the cornea and then once the epithelium or the surface heals back over, it can have better adhesion and prevent recurrent breakdowns. Corneal scars can be treated with PTK if they're in the very front part of the cornea. We may need to remove more tissue when we remove a scar, so it may have to go deeper and take away more layers, but if that scar is near the surface, we can remove it and leave a clear cornea behind. In some people that have an irregular cornea, that could have an uneven surface with bumps or ridges in the cornea, we can use the laser with PTK to smooth out the surface. If you have any questions about these diseases or the procedure, please feel free to post on our Facebook. And until next time, on a state of sight, good health and good sight.